Well, last fall I did a video on the oldest house in Berks County, Pennsylvania. Now we're here in Lebanon County, and this is called Lights Fort. This was supposed to be a built in uh, 1742. There are a number of old buildings here in Lebanon County. In fact, I've talked about this building before. There was a place called Fort Zeller. My ancestors helped build that fort back in, uh, well, there was, it was originally a log fort built in like 1730s, um, but they replaced it with a the stone fort later in uh, 1746. But this one's a little older than that. Yeah, so 1742. I forgot to do the math before I came. So that's so uh, that's getting that's getting close to 300 years old. And I, I was here in. Uh, Oh man, when I came home from college one summer, I think I visited this place and they've done a lot of work on it. When I visited it back then, um, it was still privately owned. Now, now some historical, some historical society owns it now and they've done a lot of work to fix it up. Like where those windows are, up there. When I visited it last time, it was all like concrete block in pretty bad shape. Now they've kind of fixed it up a little bit. They have all this stone here too. I think they're going to try and use it for repairs. This stone didn't necessarily come from the building, but they brought it here to uh, do some repairs to the building. Because you can see, it used to be, it has a funny shape on the end there. That used to be a third story building up there, but no one really quite knows what happened to it. And this building was used for quite a few things. Um, it was originally built, I think it's a barn. It was used as a fort or like a refuge during the French and Indian War in the 1750s. A lot of the settlers in the area came and hid here from Indian attacks. Of course back then you wouldn't have had all these buildings here. Now we're in busy Lebanon. There's a you know Dollar General store right next door. Now that was here back in the 1700s obviously. So this would have been all like farmland and stuff probably at the time. Now it's kind of a built up city area. So it's kind of cool this place is still even here, considering that everything around it is new. This place was preserved. Because usually places like this get destroyed when the, you know, when cities get developed. Because um, this is in Lebanon County, and this is in the city of Lebanon, which is, you know, the biggest city in Lebanon. Usually when you have urban sprawl like that, the oldest buildings get destroyed, but it's still there. It's in their sunnier view of it. Like I said, yeah, it was a fort, and at one time it was used for apartment complex. So it's been, uh, it's seen quite a few owners over the years, and I don't think some of those owners were terribly, uh, kind to it over time, but they've done a lot. Like I said, they've done a lot of work to fix it up. It looks a lot better than it did the last time I was here. And I know they have times where you can come here and visit. They have like an open house where you can actually go inside. It might be in the spring. I'll try and look that up. Cool place though. Yeah, so if you live in the Lebanon area, come check this place out. I think they have a, they do have a Facebook page, and I think their website is Friends of Light Four. I think it's called. Where they have more, they have a complete, like a complete history of this place and what happened here. They do have no trespassing signs on the building, so I'm not try and get in. Although on the front you can see where people have already like vandalized the place already with graffiti and stuff. So that's the way it is. We are in the midst of a city here, so. Yeah, we were just down there, but here's the front of the building, the not so historical looking front of the building. Of course, up there was that missing section that would have been there. You can see all the all the rock is gone up there, just metal. Yeah, from this view, it doesn't look nothing like the other side. Yeah, but you can see where some people have already tagged their stuff on here. 
just another look from the side again. So this is the oldest building in Lebanon County, PA. So I think I might be doing the oldest building in each county too. We'll see. This is kind of fun as well. Well, we'll see what happens. All right. I was just out and about today, so I thought I'd quick stop here, do a video on this place. All right, I'll see you around. All right, one more thing. I'm no longer at the fort, but one thing I forgot to mention is where the fort is located, if you want to go see it. I told you to go visit it. It's at it's on the northwest side of Lebanon City, um, at the corner of 11th and Maple Streets, right next to the Family Dollar Store. I think I call it the Dollar, Dollar General Store, but it's the Family Dollar. If you park in the parking lot for Family Dollar, the Ford is right next to it. You can't miss it. So that's where it is if you want to go check it out.